Now, where are you from? I'm from Tennessee, but my mom stays down in Atlanta, down here. What part of Tennessee? I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Still you living heard there? Of it? Still living there? Yeah, in I still live there. Okay. Is it a certain part of Chattanooga you rep? Uh, kind of, sort of, but I done lived in so many different parts that I don't, I don't just prefer to, to like claim a certain side or whatever, but where I'm from, we call it the A block. Okay. Yeah. Now, what was it like for you growing up in Chattanooga? Can you paint the picture for um, us? A whole lot of game banging. Like, it, mostly everybody then, like, then grew up game banging. Like, we got a game bang city. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Now, was that hard for you to steer away from? Was uh, that something you easily got sucked into, or? Kind of, sort of, like, yeah. I see. I, Deal with the devil, and then seeing it wasn't really too much for me. It was just certain things that were put into my life that told me it really wasn't for me, but. I see. I now, did it. Okay. Now, um, when it comes to your upbringing, uh, was it a rough upbringing for you? Would you describe it as a rough upbringing? I mean, it's, I mean, I wouldn't say it was a rough upbringing, but I've I've always had certain necessities that I like my my mom and dad. They always made sure I had clothes, food, or whatever. But it's done been times like where everything just wasn't so good. Like, but my grandparents had pretty a nice amount of money or whatever, so they always made sure I was straight too. So, cause I cause I lived with my grandparents, cause my mom and dad had when they was young, so it was a little more like. My grandparents made sure I was straight, so I really didn't have to go too much without. How young were they when they had you? Uh, were like, they teenage parents? Yeah. Mm. Do you know how young? Uh, no, I don't really know. I just know high school. <laughs> I see. Well, teenage parents back then was not happening a lot like it is now. Now it's kind of normal, but back then yeah, cause it wasn't as frequent to see a teenage parent. Yeah, most of my friend parents, they parents like about like 40, 50, yeah. and I got young parents, so mm. it kind of. Now, what was maybe your roughest moment growing up? Mm, my roughest moment, I mean, I've had different, like I didn't have so many rough moments growing up, because as growing up, you know, you get in trouble, you go to jail, people go to jail in your life, all type of stuff. Just people going to jail, people, People going to jail around me and stuff like that, losing so many people. I had to say that. It wasn't too much really a money part, and because I'm gonna make sure I got myself straight too before not just let my parents take care of me neither. You lost people? I mean, I haven't lost too many people to like violence or anything, but I done lost people to like jail, mostly jail. I see. And deaths like nat of natural causes. Oh, okay, got you. Any family members? Yeah, I done lost a lot of family members to those. But not your parents? No, not my parents. Grandparents either? No, no. So your immediate family, brothers and sisters, uh, no issues, but other people? Yeah, no yes. issues. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> now, what about going to school? What type of student were you in school? Uh, school, I ain't really go, to, I went to school, but I'm saying like, I ain't really go to school like during school. Like I'm, I used to come down here every day on my school days. Just be here. Atlanta. Yeah, I go to school. I well, I'd be like I'm going to school. Don't go to school. Probably come to Atlanta. Be down here all day just shopping, kicking it, whatever. Cause my brother in the corner, he from down. There, so I used to come down here with my other brother. He in jail right now. And we just kick it. Like I skipped the whole day and I just like have. A girl write me at out like I was here on the attendance. I knew girls in the office and shit like that. <laughs> so I had them put like I'm here on the attendance or and then have a girl do my work or some shit like that. So I ain't late or have somebody give me the homework or whatever. Plugged so I, in. Yeah, so I really just ain't I ain't never really go to school like that. But I but when I did I always had good grades. 
Now, yeah. most people, when they skip school, they're doing something in their own town or own city. You went to Atlanta from Chattanooga? Yeah. <laughs> every, like, every day. How every far week. is that drive? It's about an hour. I mean, depending on how you drive, and I drive fast, so. You drive me. an hour just to chill in Atlanta and then go right back. I mean, sometimes I might stay. Sometimes I might. It just depends on the weekday, you know, on a, on a, if it's finna be Thursday and Friday, you can't. I can't just be like, "Oh, granny, I'm, I went down to Atlanta. I ain't gonna come back." Mm. She goes, "What the fuck you doing?" So your grandparents' parents had no idea. But nah, not unless I told them. Like it'll be certain days of the week. I tell, I'll be like, "I'm probably not finna go to school the whole day." And they were okay with yeah. that. I used to skip school, go get haircuts. Skip one class, go get haircuts, and come back with fresh air. <laughs> now, did you rap in school? Yeah, I always rap since I was probably so young. I always liked it. Did you battle other classmates? Uh, yeah, I didn't have battles before, but not too, like, they weren't really no real rappers. They just wanted to battle me because they heard I rap. Did you win them, lose them, uh, broke even? I, I, I said I want them. It wasn't really no judges. It was more like, a, oh, let me hear you rap and I'm going to rap. With all that skipping, did you ever get kicked out of school? Did you graduate high school? Uh, I almost got kicked out due to, like, legal issues, not really because of me skipping. Do you want to explain? Uh, I can explain because the situation over with, but like, uh, my, my last, my 12th grade year, which was just, my 12th grade year went too long ago. I basically got caught, I had a big case when it was involved with like pistol, pistol case, gun ca drug case and all that. So basically, like the school had word of it, but at the time I was 17, my other friend, he got kicked out of school and he had to go to something we call a duck, like you either go to adult high or you go to Washington Alternative, which is in the neighborhood where I'm from. Like it's like right down the street mm -hmm. from where I live at. So, well, um, like, so, okay, so he went to that, but I was 17 at the time, so I ain't really, my my face wasn't on the newspaper nothing, so they didn't really have no right to kick me out and my files are sealed, so I could have sued or anything just because of that. So they thought it was their best bet to keep me in. Okay. But you, it's not like you had to go to juvenile. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. But I, I ain't, I mean, I, I bailed out, paid me a lawyer and everything, I went for a lawyer, so I was straight. And this was something that happened in the school or something outside you know, of outside school? Outside of school, at a party. <laughs> And I've heard of stuff like this happening where you can be doing something outside of school, yeah. but it somehow can get you messed up within the schooling system. It's because Chattanooga is small, small city, so it's like everybody, when something happens, everybody knows about it. But I don't understand how that works, because I've heard somebody tell me something similar, like something happened maybe close to a bus stop, but it's, you're still not in school, and it's, you know, I don't know. It's just... Curious. It's cra crazy, like, how you can get put out for something that you did while you weren't at school. And may have nothing to like, do with school. If we have a fight, I didn't have, got called to the office for fights that I didn't have outside of school that's been videotaped, and they'll call me into the office and be like, uh, y'all, we ain't thinking about suspending you because of this fight outside of school. I didn't know school could have jurisdiction like that. I um, mean, especially when you, like, when you black or any other color, they try to push it on you. Mm -hmm. But you didn't get kicked out. No, I didn't. But my friend, my brother, he ain't here right now. Well, I'm not saying he did, but he's just not here right now. He ain't down here. But oh, okay. at the same time, yeah, he got kicked out. Your biological brother? No, nah, not biological. Oh, right. I just You're just using brother. the word brother. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's how I love him. Now, okay, so you didn't get, so whatever happened to the juvenile charge? Were you able to beat it? Uh, I got, I was supposed to have 12 months probation. I did six months, so I came out pretty good. Like, cause I was passing on my test, drug test and all that. I had to do a, <laughs> I had to do a little program and shit. So, straight. I see. Graduated high school. Graduated. But that almost made me not be able to, so I'm happy everything went to the... Now, after high school, what are your thoughts on college? What's the uh, next move there? I went. You did? 
and yeah. dropped out. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say dropped out. I still go back, but just for, for right now, I'm trying to work on music right now to see where I could take that. So you're taking a break? Yeah, I'm just taking a break right now. I go back though. How much schooling did you get under your belt? I got a year. Freshman? Yeah, about, I ain't get a whole year, but I got like two semesters. Uh, isn't there two semesters period in a? Yeah. Okay. And it wasn't, it wasn't that it was hard or nothing. It was, I, I passed first semester, but second semester is when I was just like having other stuff to do. It's like stuff coming over music, so it was like. So you made a decision to go to the music career yeah, route? Yeah, it's something I always wanted to do. So far, was that the best decision looking back? I mean, I think it is. Mm. Now, if you ever, if you never go back, then we can call you a, a, a college dropout. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> but for now, you're just taking a break. Yeah. What school did you go to? What college? I went to, we got a, a college called Chess State. I ain't go like off nowhere. It's just, I went to a regular community college. I see. Now, you got almost a year under your belt. Do you wish you would have never had the college experience and bypassed it altogether and went straight to the music instead? Or are you happy to have at least had some experience or, you know? I think either way I would have been happy. Okay. Just curious. Yeah, either way I think. Not I saying you had a regret, but if you could do it all over again, it might have saved you some time to get straight to the music career. I didn't know. Yeah. What your thoughts were. I mean, I really just got to see where it takes me. Maybe if I go far, 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 which the plan is to take it far, so. Somebody watching this, let's say it's a, a kid that's just coming out of high school, and let's say they have a passion for music, right? right? And it doesn't have to necessarily be a rapper like yourself. It could be another position in the music industry. You got DJs, producers, writers, yeah. camera people, all kinds of stuff. Let's say they have a passion for music. Mm -hmm. Do you tell a kid like that, go straight into the music right after high school? Or do you tell somebody if they can still do their education, do education and music at the same time? What is your advice there? If they got something going like where they like really got a fan base, they starting to get a fan base or something, I tell them to push towards music. But if it's still like kind of like iffy, whether you don't know if you got it or not, I go to school, cause that's what I was doing. I, 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 went, I ain't never iffy about it, but it's just like, uh, it ain't picking up right now. Let me just go to school, see what I can do. And I really went to school just to make my, gr my grandma happy. She kept big. She like, I just want you to go try, try one year from I'm like, all right. I've heard some people saying going to college and doing music is also a good thing in the sense that you can create a fan base there. Yeah, if you go off to college, like when you're going off to college, it's like, parties and you stand like on campus so it's more people to interact with so you just letting people listen to your music and I really ain't just in there like letting people just listen to my music because like, I don't want to push it up on people I'd rather just let them gravitate towards it naturally organic yeah now jobs you had growing up if any uh, I worked at Papa John's <laughs> But this was for probation. I had to get a job on probation. Oh. I, before then, I never had a job. Like I used to like work. I say my first job be working with my granddad though. I used to help him work on houses. Okay, doing what? Like he be, he can build a house from the ground up. Once oh, the framing okay. done. So, so I got a lot of that. I had a lot of them traits, and I was helping him do that. Like just sweeping up little stuff, picking up stuff, getting tools together, or then he came to. Go put this flow, help me put this flow down, and all this. So I see. First job was that, and then I say Papa John's, and then I worked for a furniture company. Any of those jobs tough you just mentioned? Uh, I mean, Papa John's, sometimes people get on your damn nerves, like keep calling you, asking for certain things, and y'all ain't got it no more, and then they get mad with you. And then with the furniture, it's like, you lift the heavy ass furniture all day, you tired, but it wasn't that bad. I actually liked it, that it was kind of fun. And then with my granddad, you gotta hear him talk. He liked to talk shit to you while you working, <laughs> so. Some people don't like working with family members. Yeah, it's cause you y'all family, it's like you gonna have a confrontation anyway cause y'all already got confrontation at when y'all see each other. It's just a family thing. Any crazy stories dealing with any of those jobs you just mentioned? Anything that happened out of the norm? Mm, I, nah, ain't nothing ever happened too crazy at a job. Quit these jobs or get fired from them? Uh, 
quit. <laughs> I always quit. <laughs> Did it hurt your your grandfather's heart when you quit? Oh no, I never quit with him. I still help him to this day whenever I get a chance to. Oh okay. I still help him. So you just took a break from that too. Yeah, I mean no, I just whenever he wants some help, I'm there. Now you mentioned your parents. Are they both still in your life? Yeah, both my parents still alive. Good relationship with them both? Yeah, I got a good relationship with both of them. Are they together or separate? Separate. How old were you when they separated? They, it's like they went never together. <laughs> ah. That's how you When it came to, so did you, your grandparents, so explain, your grandparents helped out a lot, but who were you living with? Okay, this is how it was. At first, when my, my mama lived in Atlanta now. When she lived in Chattanooga, it was flip. It was swap like back and forth. Okay. So like, it's like I and then when she moved down here, like she went to jail, so I didn't see her for a little while. But then when she was when she wasn't in jail, like I go, f I stay down here for the summer. I see. Or whatever. So these were um, her parents. When you say grandparents, her side of the family. No, these are my dad's side. Of oh, the okay, your dad's side. So you were living with your dad's side of the family's grandparents. Yeah. In Chattanooga, and then sometimes you would go live with your mother yeah and how old was your mom I mean how old was you when your mom moved to Atlanta uh, probably, I'm trying to just paint the picture I here. probably was about like eight or something like that I see and uh, she didn't want to take you with her I mean yeah she wanted to take me with me, but it was kind of like I wanted to stay yeah, I, it'd be like I want to go that's why I go for summer but it's like I got all my friends here and everybody I know here so it's like, you don't really want to leave. Even though Atlanta's a bigger city and... I mean, once I got older here, yeah, I'm ready. I'm like, there's nothing to turn. But when you were younger, there. you wanted to kind of stay. Yeah. That's why I was coming down here every other week. I see. It makes sense. Now, um, what did you do? Like, who was a male figure in your life then? Um, was it your grandfather? And my, yeah, my grandfather and my dad. Okay. Got you. Now, it sounds like you've been through some things, but in regards to your parents or your grandparents, what's the worst thing you put them through? Uh, going to jail. <laughs> I see. Only went to jail once? Twice. Twice? <laughs> For the same things? Uh, kind of, sort of. Drug charge, gun Drug, charge? Yeah. Now, as far as siblings, you had a brother. Who else did you have? Okay, I got... You talked about your brother. Okay, that that one my uh, sibling. Like that's not like you talking about the one I said when the sibling. Yeah, I thought you had a sibling brother also. No. Okay, who do you who do you got? Who are your siblings? Okay, I got a little brother and a little sister. They twins. Oh wow. And then on my mama's side, I got a little sister. She like fourteen, fifteen. And then I got another little sister. She three. So two sisters on one side and fraternal twins, brother and uh -huh. sister on the other side. I see. And are you the oldest? Yeah, I'm the oldest. Okay, just checking. Now, anybody else in your family raps aside yourself or just you? I mean, my brother, I mean, that's my uncle. He over there, he rap. Okay. He the one started me really rapping. I had to say. Your uncle. Yeah, he started me really rapping. It's hard to it's hard to keep track of everything because everybody's your brother. <laughs> yeah. I, everybody's I mean, your that's brother in this love, interview. Like, and then with him, it's, with my uncle, it's like my mama raised him too. So like when I'm staying there, we in the same house. I see. So it's like my, it's like my real brother. So you said your uncle helped you rap. Yeah, he started me off when I was young. He so made that me want to rap. He still raps or no? He still raps. Have you guys collabed? No, we haven't yet, but we fence with pretty. So strong. he put you on, and you haven't still coll you haven't collabed with him yet. I mean, we just ain't had time. He be doing stuff, I'm doing stuff. I see. What does your family think about your rap career? Uh, they don't really. They, I mean, they know about it. Like when I, like my granny go to the store, girls would be like, "Oh yeah, I know your grandson. He rap, blah blah blah." But she be like, "You ain't." It's, it's just music, like she don't understand it. What do your parents think? Are they supportive? Uh, my daddy, he be like, yeah, he understand it, but he be like, uh, my mama, she understand it, but it's just like, eh. 
not really supportive. I mean, I guess when everything just go, like they really see the fan base, like when it get when it actually be a greater fan base than what it is, I think they'll understand. I see. But now they just hear people like little, certain people here and there talk about it. What do they think about your music? They like it. But they, my granny be like, you talk about all this stuff and you, you the, the game, baby, shirts off and still like that, so it's kind of. I see. What about the cursing? What do they think about that? Oh, she don't like the cursing. She be like, I like it, but why, why you gotta curse so much? Have they seen you perform yet? No, they haven't seen me perform. Not yet. That'll be interesting. Like, I used to do little stuff when I was younger, like, with the little cat, but real, no real perform, nah. We spoke about a variety of subjects in regards to your upbringing, but right. overall speaking, what's your message to the youth? What would you tell them today? I would tell them to strive for whatever they want and never stop.